In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I'm going to pay off my mortgage in seven years using the three property strategy. I did get some help from mum and dad to get the ball rolling in the beginning, but by the end of this video, you're going to see that getting help from parents isn't about helping yourself, but it's actually helping them as well. You're creating a win-win scenario where both parties come out stronger financially. But in saying that, I have helped numerous clients achieve the same result with a very modest income around 70,000 as a single or 130,000 as a couple buy three investment properties in a short period of time. Now to give you a bit of a background story. So we have dad, my mom, myself, and my little sister. So besides the fact that we look Asian, I would say we're a pretty typical Kiwi family. So 20 years ago, mom and dad migrated to New Zealand and bought their first home for $200,000. Now, if you have ever gone to any Chinese takeaways, and there was a kid standing behind the counter on a stool punching numbers, that was me. I pretty much helped out every day after school until I got to uni. So over the years, mum and dad bought and sold their property to upgrade the house and improved our lifestyle. My sister and I are forever grateful for that. Now growing up, I actually thought my parents were doing very well financially because they were very hardworking, worked long hours, and they were very frugal. By the time I finished university and started working, we were living in a million dollar home with just a small mortgage on it. And it wasn't until I met this one client who were younger than my parents, had more kids, earning less, and they were buying their fifth property. Using the exact strategy that I'm about to show you, I realized although my parents were very hardworking, very frugal, they didn't have much of an investment vehicle. So when I learned that you can use the equity in your property to invest in property without any deposits, I immediately jumped at the opportunity. So the first thing I did was help my parents top up on their property because they have some accessible equity. So now I'm able to use this as a 20% deposit. Francis and I were earning around $100,000 at the time and we bought our first home for $690,000. The cool thing about this property was that the rent covered the mortgage not only for this particular mortgage but also covered my mum and dad's mortgage. They didn't feel any cash flow difference by helping us doing this. However, the rates and the insurance did have to come out of my own pocket. It was a nice first home but from an investment property perspective, there was a lot of things I could have done better and those lessons I would love to share with you in the future. But once I was able to do this, I made it my mission to educate and help families understand how this works and why they need to do it. And I focused building a business around this in the next two years at a greater scale. So in 2017, I was able to use the same thing by topping up on the second and first property to buy a second property. Now this one had enough land at the back for another house to be built. And in 2019, I repeated the same thing, topping up on equity on both properties. And I bought a third one with a friend, which is a block of units that achieved eight and a half percent cash flow. Not only did it have enough cash flow to pay for itself, but all the expenses for everything else. And so in 2020, using the same method, I bought a home and income. What this is, is two properties on one title, so you get two incomes. Now I settled just for 5% cash flow because this property was in terrace housing apartments only, meaning that I can utilize the land later to build more houses on it. Now by 2022, because I bought them at a very good price in a combination of just the slight capital gains, I would be able to restructure the first mortgage on this property and load it up into my investment properties, effectively become mortgage free in just seven years. The coolest part about this though, is that by 2022, there will be another house that's finished on the first property. And this property, I will be able to transfer back to my parents and it would generate around $15,000 passive income for my parents. So for helping me out, they have effectively helped themselves as well. Now to execute the strategy, you must remember one thing that is, to plan out your financing strategy from day one so you can avoid getting stuck. Think of it like this. It's kind of like that hand-eye coordination game where you need to take the stick and slowly go through the wires without touching it because if you touch it, it will shock you. Likewise, growing your investment property 
is like playing this hand-eye coordination game. Instead of being just careful with your hand and eyes, you need to juggle with equity and cash flow. When you play this game, if you mess up, you just get a shot. But if you mess up your property portfolio, you're stuck for three to five years because the bank is not going to be able to lend you more money to keep your growth going. So before you commit to any property strategy, it's vitally important that you work out your mortgage strategy. You need to know where you are in terms of cash flow. Are you high cash flow or low cash flow, low equity or high equity? Then you can decide which property strategy is going to be best suited for you. Now to learn more about the why and the maths behind this mortgage strategy, join one of our free online masterclasses using the link below.